And we are still seeing the same type of environment that we've seen now for the last couple of days, which is the Christmas tree effect, which basically means. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trader.com. Uh, nightly update, update show. Hope everybody is having a great Monday, start of your week. Beautiful weather, again, 80 degrees outside. It is uh, November the 7th, which is uh, absolutely uh, nuts. Uh, just a quick reminder, guys, if you are getting uh, value from the daily uh, from the daily updates, uh, again, all we ask is just like the video, and if you haven't yet subscribed uh, to the channel, we're more than happy to have you aboard. It's a great way to stay up with the community uh, while helping us organically, uh, you know, pretty much get the word uh, out there. Just a quick, uh, quick kind of announcement, which is really, really cool. I, I don't know a lot of you guys uh, know the name, uh, but Kenyon Sal is one, one of our partners here at Acts as a Trader. He's the AKA James Bond of the motivational uh, life coach space. He's, you know, he's really, really good, uh, most positive human being I think I ever met. Uh, he does incredible uh, speeches and all that good stuff with Fortune 500 companies. Uh, for all you guys who are uh, planning to join us, especially during the holiday season, uh, save the date, right? November 19th, um, he is going to do, it's gonna be about an hour and a half in uh, the live webinar via cyber, uh, Cybercast. Um, he's gonna do a great, great event. Uh, if you are having any spiritual problems, if you're having any uh, you know, financial problems, whatever the case may be, he is just a great positive vitamin B shot to your soul. So if you are uh, planning to uh, come aboard uh, this holiday season, try to do it before November 19th. Uh, it's gonna be a great, great event, and I promise you're gonna feel a lot better uh, going into the event uh, after the event than you did going in and it should be a lot of fun and a lot of great values hopefully a lot of you guys uh, will uh, take advantage of that soon so let's talk about day right market continues kind of the same theme uh, market a you know, pretty good rally today uh, ahead of the midterm elections for tomorrow you got a lot of chatter chit chatter that Donald Trump is going to throw his hat into the ring uh, once again tomorrow again, that is chatter. Um, and we are still seeing the same type of environment that we've seen now for the last couple of days, which is the Christmas tree effect, which basically means uh, half the NASDAQ names are red, half the NASDAQ names are green. And it's a very, very tough reality when they're going and they're pushing and pulling two separate ways because you really can't have that conviction. And plus the fact that we are still below the levels that we broke down last week off that uh, uh, off that 272 level, it makes it very, very hard to trust the upside, especially on the NASDAQ names. And if you look throughout the day, uh, I swear, I, I logged off around, around 2.30, I had to go pick up my daughter from school. I had no idea, no idea that the market was green in the day. Absolutely no idea. It just basically kind of shows you where the value continues to be, at least on the NASDAQ, right? We're not talking about the Dow. The Dow has been super, uh, the SPIs even uh, reclaimed back the 50-day moving average today on the close, which is very, very strong. And now the SPIs needs to get above this level. We'll get to individual levels in a second. But the NASDAQ continues to trail, right? NASDAQ continues to trail. They continue to lagger. And the most important part is most of the names are just not participating. So if you guys remember over the video, uh, the cloud, uh, cloud names, got absolutely smashed on Friday. Again, they continue today, right? They continue today. You had Snow, right, getting hit again. You had Bill getting hit again. You had TTD getting hit again. You had Dogcoin, not Dogcoin, whatever it's called, DDOG, right? Getting hit again, right? The same news over and over again. Tesla, remember we talked about Tesla? This is definitely the trade today. It still looks like it's going lower again. We'll talk about the individual uh, pivots in a second. But again, if you guys remember on Friday, right? You had that really big aggressive selling here in the middle of the day for absolutely no reason. And today it confirmed the prices and it closed at the lowest level of this whole range. Uh, and notably, notably, we saw a buyer come in for a $2 million premium, guys. 
for the 192.50 puts that expire in four days. Got to keep an eye on Tesla. If this thing starts confirming channels, uh, this thing's going to go lower. But at the flip side, right, the Dow continues to act really, really well. The spies reclaimed the 50-day moving average. So the question is, what the hell is happening with this market, right? It all depends what market you're trading. If you're trading the S&P 500 right now, you're chilling, right? If you're trading in the Dow stocks, you are chilling. The problem is with the NASDAQ 100, it's almost like a push-pull scenario every single day for one stock that is green, like a Microsoft that had a really, really good uh, bounce back day today. Netflix can't get out of its own way. For a name, for example, like Google today, that bounced back, right? Bounced back. Tesla can't get out of its own way, right? Uh, Apple, and, and again, this is a very, you know, Apple, you know, turned around towards the end of the day and started to rally a little bit off the lows. But I tell you, there's a lot of institutional money flow coming into the weekly 130 puts very very strange betting uh the stock you know got all the way down to this 135 area still needs to clear out this whole uh channel here but it's something to definitely definitely keep an eye on uh going into tomorrow's session so the question is going into tomorrow right number one how is this midterm uh, election going to affect uh trading look i'm not a big politics guy I have no idea who's even running. The only thing I know, I, I live in New Jersey. I keep on seeing these ads nonstop for Mikey Sherrill, Mikey Sherrill, Mikey Sherrill. First I thought Mikey Sherrill was a guy that I actually looked at the commercial was actually a woman. So I have no idea. I'm not a politics guy. It doesn't make a difference to me if it's a Democrat in office, a Republican in office. All I want to do is be left the hell alone. If you are like me, you're probably thinking exactly the same thing. But for all you guys who, who are all over this politics stuff and makes a lot of uh, makes a lot of sense to you and all that stuff tomorrow well is the midterm election I, I i don't know how much it's going to affect the market i i think the bigger the bigger key point is where the indexes are right if the s p continues to build especially off today's channel right if the s p can reclaim the 10-day moving average around 381 then yeah the market will lift i mean that that's kind of what the whole point here is here we reclaim the 50-day last time we reclaimed the 50-day we rallied so if the queues can excuse me if the spies can get above this 381 level, then yeah, this, there's a shot we start rallying back to this top of the range here. So it's gonna be very, very important to see uh, if the midterm elections is are, are, is going to affect anything. I, I don't think it is. I think mostly momentum and technical analysis is always going to be price action first and then hooray, hurrah, uh, a little bit later. I uh, gotta keep an eye again on the NASDAQ 100. And again, it's off, you know, off the lows for the last three days. It stopped and tried to reclaim the five-day moving average. We're gonna to need to see what happens tomorrow. Okay, um, like I went through a lot of stocks today at night, you know, you know, for my watch list for tomorrow, and I said to myself, man, there's still a lot of shorts out there, right? But just in case we rally, right? And that's the whole point. We we don't want to be tied into one side of the market. Again, nothing goes straight up, nothing goes straight down. But if we're going to have a rally and say the, the, the spies reclaim the 381 level, we do have to start looking for some long ideas. Here's some long ideas that I think look pretty good, right? Meta, you know, had this big run the last couple of days here. And again, I'm not saying Meta is going to 120, 130, 150. It's just a trade, right? We, we take it day by day. If, t if Meta can just get above this, this whole area here, right? This whole channel here, is there a shot it goes back to 100, 101? Especially, if, again, if the, if the spies start breaking out, absolutely. Again, beggars can't be choosers. We can't sit there and go, wow, this is a great looking, it's not a great looking chart, but if it could confirm this range here, maybe it'll give at least uh, an actionable uh, cash flow move. And that's all we're asking for day by day. Look at a name, for example, like AMD, right? AMD is just kind of going sideways, right? Did not selling off, not going down, just kind of going sideways here. The top of the supply is right here. If, if AMD can start getting above the sub top of the supply, it can rally as well. Uh, look at a name like Moderna, who broke out today, right? B broke out today, nice move today. Uh, took out this 161 level, closed uh, near the highs of the day. If it starts taking out this whole linear regression line, maybe it moves up as well. But there's a flip side to that as well. And that's the whole point. With this Christmas tree type of market, again, some stocks red, some stocks green. It's very, very tough to get a bias. So again, we owe it to ourselves to kind of be prepared on both sides of the market. So let me give you some ideas to the downside. Tesla, again, I don't know what's going on, but Tesla looks lower. Doesn't it look lower, right? We talked about it on Friday. We talked about it uh, over the weekend. We're talking about it now. You know, this is the lowest close in this whole formation uh, since the lows from October the 24th. Again, they were pounding, pounding uh, 190, 192.50 puts. Somebody came in for the December's 180s. We'll see, man. We'll see. I, again, this thing looks lower until it doesn't. So definitely keep an eye on that. Uh, look at a name like Planet Fitness. 
right? Not usually a name that I would concentrate on, but look at this expanding volume here and it stopped right on daily support. If this daily support loses tomorrow, maybe this thing gets hit. Look at Rivian, right? Look at a name like Rivian, for example, right? Look how tight this channel is. It's not rallying. Look how tight the bottom channel here. If this thing starts losing bottom channel, why can't this thing go down to 29? So there's definitely, definitely opportunities tomorrow on both sides of the market. Um, I want to get a little, I definitely want to get a little bit more. Um, I definitely want to get a little bit more evidence, especially from the spies of what happens next. Because if they can reclaim that 381 level, we will rally, right? That's the question. Can they reclaim uh, the 381 level? So let's talk about, uh, let's talk about some uh, pivots from, uh, today, was this like one of these magnificent days? No, it wasn't magnificent. But again, the point of trading is you, you only need one, right? And this is kind of what we talk about uh, all the time. You only need one. You don't need to be in, in 68 stocks, right? You don't need to be in 68 stocks. You just got to catch that one mover that expands a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, four dollars, so far and so on. So as you can imagine, wh which one do you think it is? So Apple, we were watching, uh, never got down there. Uh, Tesla, right, had that big, really massive pivot for us on Friday off that 214 level. Remember that, that those 10 candles that held for, for 60, uh, 60, 10 minute candles? So today, the big numbers were 213, 198. If they build below, more selling pressure comes. Here is Tesla, right? You can see where Tesla's trading. Here is Tesla, right? So it took out the 203, took out the 98, closed pretty much within 50 cents of the low of the day. Again, this channel starts taking out tomorrow. Uh, this thing is going lower. Uh, NVIDIA, you know, nothing really going on in NVIDIA. I know it went to like 144 from the 152, 150, uh, 152, 50, 153. I, I didn't trade anything to the long side today. I, I just didn't want to. You know what I mean? I just didn't want to, I, especially with such a big move on Tesla this, this morning. I, you know, I, I really want to see more uh, from the bulls before I get excited, especially uh, on the macro phase. Uh, Friday, uh, Snow had this massive move, 45, 50, 45. Today, 129, went down to like 127, closed at the lowest uh, part of the range. Uh, DraftKings didn't do anything, uh, ironically. Uh, DraftKings uh, only went down to like 1085 and had a pretty aggressive reversal back to the upside. We got to keep an eye on 1085 for um, some more selling down the road. Too low, never got down to 41. Uh, here's Moderna, 161 needs to build. Uh, so here is Moderna, right? 61, took out this whole channel here, closed at 65 and change and Roblox. Roblox was actually a pretty, uh, Roblox was actually uh, a pretty good short here right at the open, uh, 39.50 if it builds, if confirms a 50 day moving average, it can get hit. So here was Roblox, nice flush here into the 37s here. You can see here, it took out this whole 39.50 right at the open, uh, traded down to 37.80s before it kind of rebounded. But again, it closed right on the 50 day moving average. We still got to keep an eye on this thing. I do believe uh, they come out with earnings here for the next couple of days. Uh, AMD never got up there. Square, not a big move at all. Uh, 63.70s, I think it went to like 64 and a half. Again, I wasn't trading anything today. Uh, to the upside, just because again, like I said, I want to see a little bit more uh, data. So that's it, guys. Uh, again, I appreciate all the love and support uh, for helping us kind of grow organically this channel. Again, if you're not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. It'll definitely help us out. If you you're, if you continue to get value, just drop a like. Again, apparently that's what social media does. So I'm gonna say it also, bro. Smash that like button, bro. <laughs> guys, have a great night. My daughter has a basketball game. I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.